Okay guys, so welcome back to the second part of the Fomora 9 tutorial where we will be focusing on special features Fomora has to offer. Now this is the part 2 of the features video tutorial that I have started. So if you haven't seen the first one, I suggest that you guys go back and see the first part to the video or see my whole playlist on the Fomora tutorial videos for beginners and I'll link that down in the description. But with that said, let's get started with the video. Okay guys, so as you can see, we're in Fomora right now and this is basically the same video that we edited in the last video and everything is the same but this time we're just gonna add green screen transitions now these are basically overlay transitions but with the green screen background which i'll teach you how you guys can remove it using filmora so the first thing that we have to do is actually take our clip the one that we're going to be using for this video and add it to our timeline and we're just going to position it on top of our main shot and we're going to put it right in the middle with our first clip and second clip so we can add that transition as we're moving in from one clip to another once we add our transition and position it where we want to you guys can see the green background behind that transition and all we're going to do is just do some simple editing in order to remove that green background and allow for the main video to show up so in order to do this all you have to do is make sure that your transition or green screen is selected and right click after that we're just going to go and hit the green screen button option and as you can see the green background has disappeared now we're just going to do some minor editing and as we can see if we move this cursor a little bit we can see the transition clearly without the green screen now what we have in front of us is a window in order to select the color. Now our color is already pre-selected and as you can see we want to make sure that is the same shade of green. So in order to make sure you have the same shade of green you can use that little eyedropper tool beside the color and just come down to the timeline or on the video preview just select the color green and it will automatically remove it. One other thing that you guys can do is use the offset, tolerance, edge thickness, and all these other tools that you guys can use in order to adjust how your overlay looks when using your green screen. So it's basically really simple and Fomora has a nice way to introduce it to make it user friendly. But as you can see, my transition is really clear and really easy to view. So I'm not going to do so much editing, but if you guys want to try using a, a green screen background, this is basically the process that you would be doing. Once we got that, we're just going to hit OK. And that is basically the process of which you guys can use in order to make your green screen. So the last thing we're going to do is basically export our video. So all you have to do is just come to the export button up here and then the process should be easy just naming your video and at the end hitting the export button Okay guys, so the next thing I want to show you is a different way of using a green screen background. And I'm just going to show you how you guys can use a green screen clip and implement any backgrounds that you guys may want to use. So I'm just going to take you through that process and teach you how you guys can use a green screen setup and edit so you can put any background behind it. So as you can see right now, I do have the green screen clip that I'm going to be using as well as two images to replace the green screen and set it up as my background. So what I'm going to do is basically select my green screen clip and just drag it down into the timeline. Now as you can see in the preview window we have this bridge scenery but we also have a green screen background here where the skyline would lie. So the thing that we're going to do is find a way to remove this green screen with a process called chroma key and just replace it with one of these images. All we have to do is just drag one of our clips that we're going to be using and I'm just going to use this sky clip and I'm just going to drag it so it can match the duration of our first clip. Now this is just a still image that we're just going to be adding. Now make sure that you put our background below our green screen clip because this will replace that green screen part. So once we have that ready, all we have to do is just right click and hit green screen. And as you can see, the green part of the video is completely erased away and we can see our background in this sky image. But if your green screen does not immediately go away, there's one thing you can do. We can come here where it says select color and just use this eyedropper tool. Once we select that, our green screen clip will go back to green and we'll be able to select that green screen color as you can see and it matches perfectly. Once you select the color, the chroma key process should have started removing all green screens and as you can see, we can see our background. Now with the rest of these settings like the offset, tolerance, and edge thickness, we can just leave that at default since it looks pretty good but if you guys want 
want to mess with that you can just to make it look a little bit better but once you're done with that all you have to do is just hit ok but as you can see the background is showing but there's also some black bars on the sides and that's because our image isn't large enough to fill in the whole thing so what we can do right now is basically choose the background image that you want and go back to the preview window and as you can see that image should be selected all you have to do is go to the sides and basically drag it all the way to the edges so it can fill the whole empty space that our green screen has left and as you can see it basically fills the whole skyline and it looks pretty nice with this image now we can do this same process again but using our other image that we have right here of a mountain range so the next thing we're going to do is drag our second image and put it in our third video track right underneath our previous image and then basically drag the duration of it so it matches the first clip then we're going to come to our original skyline clip and we're just going to hit the mute button and that little eye icon and as you can see that image has gone away and we can see our second background right away with this mountain range now since we edited the first clip, there's no green background showing because we have removed that green screen background. Now all we have to do is make sure we have selected our mountain range image and basically do the same process. Select it and go to the preview window where we can then adjust it to fill the rest of the empty space. And as you can see, it matches pretty good with the rest of the video. So as you can see guys, it's basically pretty easy. We can switch back and forth between these two backgrounds that we may want to add to our clip. But that is basically the whole process in order to use a green screen background or clip that you guys may want to include in your videos and add it and replace it with a background. But that's pretty much it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was really helpful in teaching you guys some cool features Fomora has to offer. And I do suggest that you guys go check out my playlist on Fomora because I will be teaching you all the steps you guys need in order to edit a video using Fomora. Also go check down on the description for that playlist as well as a website to film stocks which is a Fomora website that allows you to download free stock footage and audio as well as transition packs and so much more effects as well as the Fomora website itself so you guys can get yourself Fomora and, and try it out for yourself as well as a free trial. Lastly, I want to thank Fomora for sponsoring all these videos that I've been doing so I can help you guys help improve your edits and find the perfect tool for you guys to do them. So that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.